everybody, Aful here from Team Critical Reaction, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the Critical Beaver, which is what we call our custom Battle Beaver controller. Battle Beaver Customs is one of Team CR's sponsors. They're known for making custom controllers with all kinds of advanced modifications. This is what the end result will look like, and to get there, we're going to go to their Twitter really quick, and then to their website, which is BattleBeaverCustoms.com. We're also going to be doing a giveaway for some Battle Beaver and CR products, so please stick around to the end of the video and I'll release those details. Once on their website, you're going to navigate to Blueprint, Xbox One. We're going to start by setting the performance of the controller. That'll start us off with the rear buttons. You can set these however you'd like, just in case you haven't used their website before, I will kind of help you out. Uh, left hand is going to be your left handed button, so if you did want one, you could set it to A for instance, put it in the standard. You do have other options which is really cool, you can do medium which is a little bit higher, high, and low. I haven't tried lower myself, but very interested in that, but I'm going to set the standard. I'm going to set B for this one and standard for that, just to give you an idea of what's going on. They do have secondary buttons in case you like more. More is better sometimes. And they do have the ability to remap the buttons at additional cost. You would just click Add Remap Chip. Then we're going to go up to Next. We're going to do the rumbles. Default is to keep all the rumbles in. Since you could turn it off in the game, I'm just going to leave those there. But you could choose to remove them. Plenty of competitive players do. Then you're going to go up to Next again. And now we're going to do the thumbstick tension. Default is the stock Xbox One controller tension. You can increase it to make the thumbsticks less loose. Battle Beaver is known for mastering the thumbstick tension to get it to a point where a lot of people like. If you prefer to have them like an Xbox 360 controller or somewhere in between, they can definitely help out with that using one of these options. Once you're done with this section, you're going to go up to Next. And you're going to go to triggers. You can choose to have adjustable trigger stops or you could even go with the smart trigger routes. Smart triggers are pretty impressive. Battle Beaver has their own video explaining how they work and how it could benefit you on their YouTube channel. So make sure to check that out. Uh, there is a link in the description below. If you want to go check out the smart triggers, they also explain thumbstick tension and a whole other a bunch of modifications that you could have done with the controller. Once finished with that, hit next. Now we get into the front shell, which is where this is going to become the critical beaver. So as you can see, down here we have Team CR shells. There's two different ones, gloss, I'll turn that guy over, and matte. Default is matte. You could use whichever you like though. And then you're going to go up and you're going to hit next. For the side caps, you're going to leave this as it is. And you're going to go up to next. For the rear shell, again, leave it how it is. And then you're going to hit next. For the trim kit, you have two options. The standard default, and what we would suggest, is the gloss black. But if you are, however, very picky about your face buttons and you want them to protrude out a little bit further, you can stick with the stock. But for this case, I am going to go with the gloss black and 90% of players are satisfied with that. And then you're going to hit next. For the guide button, you're gonna hit preloaded guide button and you're gonna select the Team CR one. And then you're going to hit next. For the rear buttons, you're going to select white, as you can see. Then we're going to hit next. For the left thumbstick, we are going to go with the OEM light blue. You also have that option for domed, but we are going to stick with the standard. Same thing for the right thumbstick. For grips, we are going to do no grips, and then you're going to hit next. You can choose to extend your warranty if you would like, if you feel safe. I've had my Battle Beaver controller for many months now and I've had no issues, but it never hurts. And then you're going to hit next. 
You can choose to add an accessory if you'd like, like the 10 foot controller cable. Personally, I would suggest the blue. It matches the controller theme. It's really good for events or any other type of scenario where you need a 10 foot cable to plug into the Xbox. But for this case, I'm not going to select it. And then you're gonna hit next. For the build time, I would suggest the five to seven business days. It's reasonable, but if you do need it quicker, you do have that beaver boost option. And then you're gonna hit next. You can add your Twitter handle here, and when the product's finished, they'll take a picture of it and send it your way on Twitter. If you have any questions about the, the controller or anything about Battle Beaver or anything along those lines, you can leave some build notes and they'll get in touch with you. So that's going to be the total cost with all the accessories that we added. That's $140.95. If you are not a fan of the buttons on the back, I personally do not. I'm a claw player. So I would remove these. That drops the cost to $110.95. And when you're checking out, make sure to use the Team CR discount code, and that will help out a bit. All right, so about that giveaway I mentioned earlier. We're going to be giving away a CR drawstring bag, and within this bag is going to be a 10-foot USB to lightning cable, a 10-foot micro USB to USB cable, just like the controller I mentioned earlier, three Battle Beaver Custom stickers, one CR cell phone wallet, and one Battle Beaver Customs FlexFit hat. So all you have to do to enter the drawing is subscribe to the Team CR and Battle Beaver Customs YouTubes. The links are in the description like and comment on the video we'd appreciate if you guys let us know what you think about the controller i know that we may have a new one in mind in the near future so that's something to keep in mind thanks again for supporting cr and battle beaver customs good luck and we'll see you again next time